Hi, I'm Jose and this is my friend Matt from SBT and he's going to go ahead and show us how to rebuild a supercharger using one of their supercharger kits available on their website at SBT.com. Um, I did notice on the website that you guys offer two different types of supercharger of rebuild kits. Could you tell me what the differences are? Yes, um, our one supercharger kit comes with a 17 tooth gear and the other supercharger kit comes with a 16 tooth gear. The 17 tooth is actually going to apply to all your 185 horsepower uh, supercharged CDUs, and then your uh, 16 tooth is actually going to apply to all of your 215, 255, and 260 models. Okay, that's good to know. Uh, well, uh, could you um, go ahead and tell us uh, the process to uh, rebuild the, uh, the supercharger? Yeah. So our first step is going to be taking the bearing, which is out of the number 10 packet. Uh, then we're going to go ahead and press that into the supercharger. Then we're going to take our number 9 and number 8 out of the package. And we're going to put the number 8 seal into the number 9. Then we're going to go ahead and torque that into the housing, which is torqued at 22 foot-pounds. And then we're going to go ahead and press the bearing, the other number 10 bearing, onto our supercharger shaft. Next, we're going to press our supercharger shaft with a bearing, our number 13 and number 12, into the housing. Next, we're going to go ahead and put down shop towels so we can keep everything nice and clean when we're working with the needle bearings. And then we're going to put on the number 14 washer and we're going to put grease on that. Then we're going to grease the shaft and we're going to put on our needle bearings. Next we're going to put our gear onto the shaft around the needle bearings. Then we're going to put our other number 14 washer on top of that. Install our lock washer onto the splines on the shaft. Then we're going to put our spring washers in place. Now with the spring washers we're going to be putting the cup side down first. Then we're going to butt ends with the two washers and then we're going to put those onto the shaft and then repeat that with the next set. Then we're going to put our retainer on, which is number 19. So we're going to put on our number 20, which is the nut. You're going to need our supercharger wrench from our toolkit and we're going to put that on the slots on the lock washer. And again, we're going to tighten this nut down to 22 foot pounds. Now we're going to flip over our supercharger and we're going to put on number seven, which is going to fit snugly into the seal, which was number eight. Then we're going to put on our number five O-ring. Next, we're going to put on the impeller. Then we're going to put on our number four washer. And lastly, we're going to put on our number three nut that holds the impeller in place. Please note that this actually has reverse threads, so we're going to put this on counterclockwise and we're going to torque that down to 22 foot-pounds. Next, we're going to clean up our supercharger housing and the mating surfaces. Uh, we're going to do that with acetone, so we're going to go ahead and put on some gloves. Then we're going to put on a number two former gasket all around the mating surfaces and coat them well. And make sure you do this on both sides. Then we're going to put a little bit of blue Loctite onto our threads of our screws and we're going to torque those down to 10 foot-pounds. And then we're done. This kit can be purchased online at sbt.com. For more videos like this, check out our SBT YouTube channel. I'm Jose, and this is Matt. Thanks for watching.